What's up guys? Thanks for tuning in to the fishing knot series. Let's get after it. Today you're going to learn the Palomar knot. All right, it's going to be a little hard to show you guys on this hook, so I'm going to ask my special effects guy to uh, zoom in on this hook if you can. Well, all right, there we go. We can probably work with this. Here we go. All right, guys, how to for the Palomar knot. Take your line, fold it over. Depending on the size of the hook, the more slack you'll need. For this hook, I'm going to need a fair amount, so I'm going to open it on up. All right. You want to feed that through the eye of your hook. And you want to tie a loose overhand knot. So you want to leave this part loose. And you want to leave enough slack that you can run your hook through the bite. All right. I think I got about enough right there. So I'll bring this down. I'll run the hook through the bite. And work the bite back up the shaft of the hook. You see you got a lot of slack here. You can work your knot and you can pull that slack out. On the fishing line it won't be as much trouble because you won't have a hook this big. Make sure you push this bite on top of the eyelet. And then you can lubricate your knot and work it down, work it tight. There you go. When you get done, trim your tag in. All right, guys, let me know how your next fishing trip goes with the Palomar knot. And if you have any suggestions on the next knot I should do, put it down in the comments.